Ahoy folks, Krago here for Pure Xbox, and today we're sharing our review of the JRPG Euden Chronicle 100 Heroes. This review was written by PJ O'Reilly for PureXbox.com and turned into a video by me. The name's Noah. As for being here, I wanted to put myself to the test. Yeah, got him! If you all don't mind, we need to carry on. When you boot Euden Chronicle 100 Heroes for the first time, it briefly displays a simple message of appreciation to all JRPG fans. It's nothing out of the ordinary, just a nice touch, indicative of the warm and welcoming RPG adventure that you're about to embark upon. It also got us reflecting on the life and work of Yoshitaka Murayama, the game's director and creator of the legendary Suikoden series who, sadly, passed away earlier this year. It really has been too long. I hope everyone's doing all right. Returning to his way of seeing and doing things in this spiritual successor, and with the world in its incredibly sorry state it is right now, the anti-war themes here, the humanity, hope and belief that we can see past manufactured differences, that we can stand against the lies and manipulation of those in power, are more pertinent now than ever. It's emotional and beautiful, really, to see that this creative genius held on to his hopes and beliefs, and in the end, his personal vision of a better world remained intact. Not an easy feat, given everything. Wow. Thanks. I'm gonna be untangling that mess for years. And aren't we lucky that it did, as what we've got here is a game that's 100% guaranteed to delight the old Swicoden faithful, at the same time that it dazzles newcomers, looking for a fresh new escapades of the RPG variety. Usually when we retread old ground in this manner, and especially when Kickstar is involved, there's a tendency to get rather safe tributes to the glory days. Sort of like a final lap of honor for a creator that everybody remains respectful about. Thankfully, this time around, we don't have to try in any way to remain respectful, as Murayama-san has bowed out on top form. <laughs> Nothing to it. We were a little concerned early doors, we admit it, as this is an adventure that starts slow and simple with some fairly bog-standard dungeon types. We are so done with mind right now, and we really didn't enjoy the prequel, Euden Chronicle Rising. However, give the game some time to introduce you to its battles. Solo, party, and large-scale war variants return. Let the story settle into its enjoyable rhythm, and you'll find an RPG that consistently changes things up, mixing dungeon crawling, battling, and its puzzles in satisfying ways, constantly building momentum and emotion through a grand cast of collectible hero pals. When justice calls, I'm there. It really is a spiritual successor in every sense, and fans will feel right at home, because the overall vibe we're left with is a return to Suikoden that irons out the wrinkles, rejuvenates, modernizes, adds more variety to dungeons, and comes off as an incredibly slick, assured, and polished package, apart from a few slight technical issues that we'll get to down the line. If there was any worry or doubt that Rabbit and Bear Studios wasn't up to the task, those doubts can now be buried six feet under the ground, is basically what we're trying to say. Love doesn't have time for bad guys, and that means you! And so, to the narrative itself. Euden Chronicle 100 Heroes sets you off on a path to high adventure in Ulran. This is a tale of two very different men, Noah and Sane. One an elite soldier, the other a poor villager, who meet by chance, become friends and end up on opposing sides of a war that lays bare the corruption and manipulation of the ruling classes. Okay, that does sound quite heavy. So there's also special moves like giant fists that can punch your enemies into space. Does that make things sound better? Yes, ma'am. As all-out war consumes the land, it's up to you and a party of very cool pals that you'll gather from every corner of the world to put a stop to the madness of an evil empire that's on the hunt for a powerful relic. There's a lot going on here with some hundred hero buddies to meet and rotate through your six-man party. Three in front and three in the rear and then there's some other places that you can put people in. It's cool. It's, it's all cool stuff. And most every NPC you meet has a surprising amount to say to you as a result. 
the more friends you make, the wackier the whole thing becomes. And it's this juxtaposition between the seriousness of the subject matter and the absolute silliness of some of the characters that always make Moriyama's games feel so unique, warm, and human. There are friends to make here, good times to be had. Don't make me go over there and break you, you gropey little pasty-faced, pigeon-licking, garbage-breath punks! Battles take the form of regular random map encounters for much of the time. And it's worth pointing out now that if random battles on overworld maps bother you, if you hate being consistently interrupted by enemies, this game probably isn't for you. The random battles are pretty much constant. Later, you can skip them by letting weak enemies escape as you grow in strength. And as long as you're down for that, as long as you're aware of the old school nature of much of what goes on, you're going to have a very good time indeed, because the battling is mostly excellent. Dead on. Whilst there are definitely times when you'll grow tired of seeing the same foes, we found that the core flow of fights, choosing each of your warriors moves in advance before pressing continue and letting it all play out, becomes increasingly addicting and involving as the narrative ante is upped. More enemies are thrown your way and relations with your favorite team members develop. There are also infiltration and sneaking missions, solo antics and some other surprises thrown into the mix. In addition, there are large-scale battles that give you a top-down viewpoint, charging you with containing enemy armies by shifting groups of fighters around on a grid before the camera swoops down into the action. Unit destroyed! Don't let your guard down! Oh, and speaking of swooping cameras, there's loads of fancy visual stuff going on from the get-go, with slick perspective shifts reframing battles in dungeon crawling sections into something much more dynamic and involving. Stuff like the viewpoint dropping behind a shoulder as a warrior readies an arrow and all of that jazz. It really does make for more exciting confrontations and exploration. There's also some lovely depth of field effects going on, and alongside the stylistic choice to mix retro character models with modern graphical techniques, backgrounds, lighting, and etc., it makes for a very good-looking adventure indeed. And one that also respects your time, coming in at around 40 hours if you skip the dawdling. Let's go, Noah! Now! On a more negative note, we did mention a few performance issues earlier, and these come in the form of a sound issue that seems to mute the game entirely if you use quick resume, and some very mild stuttering on rare occasions. Nothing major then, but that sound problem especially is worth pointing out as it can become frustrating. I promised Perry I'd do my best after all. We could go on and on about Eoden Chronicle 100 Heroes. There are so many fun characters to talk about, so many cool special moves to unlock and pull off as you level up. There's lots of reasons to explore and mix up tactics, switch out party members and so on. And the ease with which you can jump between auto battling, which is also fully customizable, and full control is commendable, as is the flexibility you're given in rewinding back through any moves or decisions you've made up to the point of confirming your next assault. Ah, Noah. Perfect timing. Gotta talk to you. There's no doubt some will balk at the constant random encounters and the old school slow moving nature and pace of it all. It's a very wise choice to have this one on Game Pass. But overall, this is a highly successful melding of the old and new, a fine modernization that keeps enough of the retro stuff whilst enhancing, streamlining, and embellishing at every turn. We're so glad it's worked out this way, and it's been an honor to play through this one and discover that some people's hope for the future can never be tainted. Thanks for the memories, Muriyama-san. A heart that big deserves to be loved back. But first, we need to get you all gussied up. Eoden Chronicle 100 Heroes is a slick and satisfying spiritual successor that gives Suikoden fans a great big dreamy treat, whilst updating, modernizing, and streamlining its most retro aspects into a brand new and exciting adventure for newcomers. With a timely tale to tell, excellent battle systems, an amazing cast of characters, and plenty of experimentation and puzzling in its dungeons, this is a big win for Game Pass, and a fine farewell for one of the industry's true greats. Now, isn't that a lovely thing? Let us know in the comments if you'll be given Eoden Chronicle 100 Heroes a go. As always, thanks for watching. All that's left to say is bye bye for now. Cheerio!